Hi, my name is Rena Kornblum. I'm the executive director of Hancock Center and I'm also a dance movement therapist. A lot of my dance therapy work is done in the public schools and I'd like to share with you today an incident that happened in one of my groups. It was our initial session for the year for four kindergarten children, all of whom had experienced violence or abuse in their homes. We came into the room, we did some movement warm-ups of going and stopping and moving around in different ways, and then it was time to sit down. Well, one of the children in the group, he had a lot of anger issues in school. He would have violent temper tantrums three to four times a day, requiring people to carry him out of the room, sometimes as many as four adults. When it was time for us to sit down, he did not want to sit. His face got all tense. He stood there like he wasn't going to listen. He was, I figured I had 10 seconds, or he, and he was going to have a full-blown temper tantrum if I didn't do something quickly. So right away, I acknowledged, wow, you look mad. You did not want that activity to end. I am so glad you could share that feeling with me. He looked at me like I was crazy. No one in his entire life had ever been glad that he had anger. Anger was something that was bad, that he was punished for, that he was taken out of the classroom for, etc. So we sat down together. At this point, he felt seen and heard for his feeling. I had acknowledged it. I wasn't afraid of it. He was able to sit down and we talked about what can we do to show our feelings. If we're really mad, what could be some things we could do in our movement space that would be safe but would show anger. So the kids decided they wanted to stomp their feet. So they stood up. They started stomping around the room, slashing their hands, punching their fists, shouting, no, stop, no. And then after doing this for a while, they started giggling. And they, uh, we sat back down on the floor. And at this point, everybody had let go of any feelings and we started any of the angry feelings they had. And we started talking about this was a safe way to show this in our movement group. Could they show anger that way in their classroom? Well, they all laughed again. They knew that wouldn't be okay. So we talked about, so how do you get calm then? If something happens in your room that makes you angry, what can you do that will help you calm down so that you don't get into trouble there? So they talked about um, let, breathing differently, making their breathing softer, letting their muscles that might have fists like they did when they were standing up and stomping and slashing, um, letting their fists go, getting more relaxed. So we decided to try an experiment with starting out mad and seeing if they could gradually move across the room um, and calm down. Now you notice, I didn't have any of these activities planned before I came in with those children that day. These evolved spontaneously from the children's reactions that came up in the session. So the children stood up one at a time. They got in their mad face with the eyebrows furrowed, their fists tense, their chest tense. And um, three of the children, one at a time, stomped across the room. And then smiled. So they went from tense, and then they just pasted a smile on their face and let go of their fists in one moment. There was no modulation. There was no gradual letting go. The boy who had all the temper tantrums, he started out the same way. Fists, furrowed brow, mad face, mad mouth. He stomped. His feet got softer. He let go of his fists. His face relaxed. He did not put on a big smile, but by the time he got to the end of the room, he was calm. I thought to myself, wow, this child, this child who has all the anger that's right up front for us, this child has strength. He knows how to modulate his energy. We can use this and help the whole group with their feelings. Well, this was the end of our first session. What happened from then on was, any time this boy saw me in the hallway, he'd run up to me and say, is this the day I get to be mad with you? He asked his teacher, when do I get to see Rena? When do I have my movement group where I get to be mad? Over the course of the year, all the children who now understood from, very, from our very first session, this was a place where all their feelings would be accepted. 
No one would be afraid of them. They wouldn't be punished because they had them. We would move them. We would work with them. And then we would find ways for safe expression. So, this child went from three to four temper tantrums a day, to one a day, to one a week, to one a month, and then to one every three or four months. He really used the session as a place where he could work on his feelings. Thanks.